So let's talk about a Kickstarter project that's uh, currently um, in the works called Dreamcade Replay. Uh, Universal Vintage Gaming Console. By Dreams Arcade Inc. So what this is, is it's a basically a mini computer that is uh, focused on running um, uh, games from... The vintage systems like the Atari and the Coleco, uh, all the way up to, I believe, PlayStation 1 is about as high as they're going to get. And uh, it comes with a series of, uh, it comes with a bundle of licensed games, and then it comes with means to access and obtain other games, most of them for free, sometimes at a cost. Um... The interesting thing about the Dreamcade replay is that they're offering it in three different physical formats. Mm -hmm. um, the first and the smallest one is um, the Dreamcade replay classic, which is a small looking Atari type system with a controller that they would like to put out at the Kickstarter price of two two eighty nine. Two eighty nine with a shitty looking controller. Two eighty nine. Uh, the Dreamcade <laughs> replay mobile, which is uh, a uh, like a fifteen pound. Um, uh, like mini arcade machine with an eight inch screen, eight inch IPS screen. It looks like a little yeah. Mini arcade has uh, player one and two buttons, and has nine buttons on the front, and, and, a, and a candy. What are those called? The half controllers with the candy button. Uh, it's, joystick. it's arcade buttons. Arcade. Oh, I mean the joystick. And so, well, that's a Japanese ball top. Ball top. Okay. Um, no, a candy cap is something different. Uh, that's going to mm -hmm. be at the Kickstarter price of. Uh, five hundred and ninety nine dollars. Woo! And then there is the Dreamcade Replay Arcade Edition. Uh, for the real arcade lover, uh, it has a trackball um integrated in, um, the same uh joystick and button setup, and that one's gonna be uh, three three ninety nine. Um, I have, I don't know, I have some doubts about the product, um. First of all, the included games, the license bundle is kind of what you would probably hope not to get, but what you should probably expect if uh, if you're used to these things at all. You're going to get a lot of Atari license games because it seems like it's really easy to license old Atari games. So packed in, you're going to get Ms. Pac-Man, Asteroids, Asteroids Deluxe, Centipede, Crystal Castles, Major Havoc, Missile Command, Pong, Red Bear, and Space Duel, Super Breakout, etc. And then you're going to get a suite of casino games and then uh, some 26... Those are So those were our basically ones. Basically all the Atari... The, the, yeah. They had that Atari 100 pack. These are the games. Yeah. I think. And then you're going to get a bunch of 2600 games. So you're going to get Atari arcade games, you're going to get 2600 games, and you're going to get some casino games, and then you're going to get some clones. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm not sure how they have the permission for the clones. Yeah, I'm not right? sure either. Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr.? Ugh, now you're getting in touchy territory. Yeah, Mr. Driller, Ghouls and Ghosts. Features same gameplay, but slightly different graphics and sound. Um... And then there is going to be a uh, a method to which you can connect it to the internet, and you can go searching for games and add them to your system. Sure. Well, so before that, though, you can there's an SD card, micro SD card, or USB drive to also put your own ROMs that'll be into this GUI that you can select and play these. Sure. Uh, different, I guess, emulators that'll be built into this system. Right. But this is the troubling part to me. Go. Um, but no, take it. Oh, okay. So they're offering this service on their website called Retro Reload. It's at dreamarcades.com slash replay, where you could literally search for ROMs from NES, Super Nintendo, N64, Genesis, Atari 2600, and right now it says other systems are disabled. So I pick a game, Ian, any game on those systems. Uh, let's go with, uh, Quackshot, Donald Duck. Quackshot. You had to pick the one. Oh, it's not Genesis. Quackshot. That one's not found. I'm just going to say I'll pick one. I'll pick uh, Rolling Thunder. You hit Rolling Thunder. On on the left side of the screen, it's actually pretty cool. A little mini video of the game comes up on the Dream Arcade's arcade, so you can see that the game is. On the right is a menu of all these ROM sets I can download. Rolling Thunder 2. Rolling Thunder Revision 3, Rolling Thunder Revision 1, Thunder Force AC, I guess anything with Thunder in it, Space Thunder Board. So this is a ROM, under, uh, Operation Thunderbolts on here. It's a ROM search engine. It's a ROM search engine. S searching out, I'm trying to see how many different 
These better not be hosted on their site, or they're in deep shit. No, it would not be hosted on their site. I don't understand the uh, the actual ins and outs of it, but there are various... Um, I can't even remember the name. There are media players that are like this, that are basically like Netflix, that act in a way that where... Um, why can't I remember the name of them? Anyways, where you can... Uh, one's called uh, Genesis, actually. Where you open up a, a professional-looking user interface, and you type in the name of a TV show or a movie, and it basically aggregates from streaming sites, torrents, and things like that, places where you can access this file or this show, and then it will stream it to you, or in this case, most likely download it to your um, system. So this is what this probably is. Yes. The problem is, is obviously there's some dubious legality here. Um, the other issue is once this sort of thing gets, once this sort of thing is really kind of um, in the know and people start to know about it, these things, these links start to get shut down really, really quickly. So my question is the usability of this service and the longevity of this, this service is, in my opinion, highly questionable having been a person who has messed around with similar services in the past to see what they do and realizing that eventually you get to the point where they're basically non-usable. Wow. Yeah, it says games. Uh, it says on the Dream Arcade's replay site, games provided via public repositories, that can be a myriad of ROM sites, Yes. including the non-profit Internet Archive, archive.org. I know there's a bunch of ROMs on there. The internet's largest public library. A lot of work went into this interface, though, because like all the ROMs come up with a moving image, like like a GIF of what the game is as oh, an sure. example. So it's it's pretty. It's actually very sophisticated. Like if this was an actual ROM site, this would actually be useful. You can see what the games are. The problem is linking this to their product. That's the issue. Right, and I think that's going to be the bigger issue. Um, there have been a lot of set-top media boxes that kind of do the same thing that this does, only with media. Only they would, and, and you could use a similar program with those, but they would never actually make that public handshake. Sure. You know, they would, they would do what this is doing and talking about the bundled in games and that you can add your own stuff, but they would definitely, it seems like, steer away from mentioning this sort of service. Because once you start mentioning this sort of service, like, I mean, you're obviously entering a legal gray area or, I mean, if not black and uh, white area. Yeah, I, I, at this point, I don't think it's gray. If you're providing a product, basically saying, well, we have this service that you can easily just get all the games for, for free illegally. That's like, that's where the jump is made. It's not just providing you with a product that you can use it for that. It's providing the means to get right. And I, 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 I mean, my my opinions on emulation are, are fairly well known as are yours, so I'm not trying to necessarily villainize these people, but I don't think that this is a very smart idea. No, it's not smart at all. Uh, uh, I mean, it seems not, like a bad. It seems like a bad business. I mean, idea I'm not even talking about the cost of this thing. Well, for the especially for the Dream K Replay little Atari little thing, two eighty nine. It's a lot for a Raspberry Pi machine with like you know it looks like a, a mini Atari twenty six hundred. And then you know you've got the Dreamcade replay with the one set of controls. Yet it's advertising you know it's showing a fighting game on there. Doesn't appear to be any way to link these if you could even find someone else who had one. Um, a lot of these games that require that are better with these arcade sticks are fighting games. Excuse me. Where's the fun without a second player? Um, they are. There are similar arcade machines out there that do similar things in a similarly legally dubious manner of you. But it's you. It's not with the internet. You just you know you put the ROMs on a card or whatever. But they have the two joysticks, the two buttons set up. They're roughly the same size. They have a nice screen, and uh, you know they're only fractionally more expensive than this, and offer basically the same thing with a set of second player controls. I. I, I feel like there's certainly a market here, but I feel like the price and the marketing of it is a little it's a, questionable. It's a very slick presentation. In the, did you see the video? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I hate to bring it into this. The first thing that comes to mind in the slick video presentation shows a family sitting down and playing this in front of a TV and, and laughing and having a good time, including a little boy and grum. Guess who's... Who, guess who wanted to do that with their yeah. <laughs> marketing campaign? Yeah, it's true. The good old Caligula Chameleon wanted to do that. So it looks like in this, yeah, they... I mean, the, the quality of the products I can't even question. They could be good, they could be bad. But yeah, it's just uh, the team linking it to an emulator download uh, search engine. That's where I think that's where 
it could be troublesome. So. Yes. All right. Well, I mean, we're probably going to give him a boost by putting this out, but we'll see if it hits his goal. I'm not sure it's going to hit the goal, but we'll see. 